Hello, my name is Lowell Hoffman, and this is my final project for LEAD 420. Um, we started this class back in February, February 22nd, and ran through April 10th. Uh, the class was called Youth Leadership, Music Theory, and Songwriting. Um, in order to get this class going, I had to um, put out a sign-up sheet uh, for the youth to sign up to see uh, if I could get some somebody to come to the class. As part of our, our ministry at church, we go through it like uh, twice a year where we have small groups. And uh, I wanted to lead this small group as my project. And um, I had a pretty good turnout. I, got, I had about uh, six students. And uh, they were all pretty much part of the, the uh, youth band that I had, I had set up a few years ago. But we learned how to play other people's songs. Um, what I wanted to do with this class is I wanted them to learn how to uh, write songs for themselves. That was my number one goal. But then I also wanted them to learn about leadership and what it means uh, to be a leader. Uh, that some of the theory that I had learned uh, throughout my classes at A uh, uh, and M Texarkana, and um, so I wanted them to be a well 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 rounded and be able to write their own um, music. Um, first thing I did is I got together with the pastor and I um, went through the SWOT analysis with them. I went through the strengths and the weaknesses uh, that, that he saw. He is a a new pastor uh, to our campus because his father was our, our campus um, pastor, um, but him and his father swapped. He was the Beaumont pastor and uh, his, his dad was a Houston. They swapped, now he's here in Houston, his dad went to Beaumont. So some of the, the things that, that he talked about were because he was new. Um, but the strength uh, of the church is definitely, you know, the, 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 uh, the message that we give to people uh, so that we can touch individuals and then they can t touch the community. Um, he did also go into uh, an area of, of where we touch the family, we want to try to keep the family together. That's one of our missions so that uh, we can uh, have strong, faithful families as they as they grow. We want to be able to cover uh, uh, all ages from grand, grandparents down to babies. And so that was one of the things he talked about as our strength. The weakness, um, we, he wants to focus on the things that are going to be able to, we're going to be able to be effective in the community. He just doesn't want to just give thing money he doesn't want to be a food pantry uh, yes we do give you food to to uh, organizations that have um, some structure to them and and that's the kind of things that he was talking about he did, he wants us to be able to be focused on what we do give um, the opportunities that we have there's some special needs people uh, uh, most uh, there's some children in our church that in our congregation that, that do have special needs so actually the pastor's wife Lindsay, she's going to be taking the lead on that and uh, helping us get to the next level with uh, special needs, get a special classroom and things like that. We also have opportunity, opportunities for the single moms ministry and uh, helping victims of sex offender, uh, trafficking. Um, that's, that's also something that's kind of big here in Houston, um, as big a city as we have. That's something that unfortunately is something happening here. The threats uh, is, in his words, were over promising and under delivering. Um, what he's uh, seen in the past and what's happened in the past is that the church has a uh, say like for instance they want to do this special needs they, they get the uh, congregation to pitch in money and say we're going to you know do this special needs congregation gives money and then we don't deliver on what we say we're going to deliver on and that's one of the things that it would be a threat and so he wants to make sure that he what he says he does what he says he gets completed everybody's um, happy with the results and then we move on to a new project um, so those were those are, those are the things that we talked about during the SWOT analysis so I just want to focus a little bit more now on the actual class that I taught I did go over the definition of what a leadership leadership is um, I kind of broke it down into uh, what it means to them uh, different learning styles that people have I, I know that I learned about how adults have learning styles but you know, it wasn't, it wasn't hard to translate it to um, what the youth are going through right now. And they seem to appreciate that. We did start off our classes uh, um, with, for the first 20 minutes, going over what the, the leadership theory was. Um, and then we, you know, during that moment, during that time we had refreshments. And uh, uh, so I kind of broke it up into being like a classroom, you know, I tried to make it nice. Then we went through music theory and then that portion 
I did something uh, uh, that we do often in our uh, online classes. I, I just I played a YouTube video about the thing that I wanted to teach that night, and that went over really well because you know the YouTube they have all these bells and whistles going on, and they and it is enough to grab the attention of, of the youth. And and then after the video was over, um, I went over what I, I I picked the things that I wanted them to learn from that uh, music theory wise. And then uh, for the, the rest of the time, we, we, we got our instruments out, and we started playing, and then we uh, started kind of coming up with some different little songs. Um, and then at the very end, we actually did come up with a song. So uh, I'm going to tag it to this, uh, so hopefully you, you, you will watch it and enjoy it. Um, that, that last song is something that, that uh, Ben, uh, uh, he bought to me. He's one of the students. He's actually the youngest student in the class. He, he told me at church on Sunday, he's like, uh, Mr. Lowell, I wrote a song. And, and I said, that's great. Can you bring it to class on Friday night? And he did. He, he, um, he wrote it all down on a piece of paper. He had the, the, uh, the lyrics, the, the, the verse, chorus. And uh, he also had um, um, the, the music. He wrote down some chords and things like that. And his sister um, uh, is actually in our group as well. And uh, one night uh, when he brought it over, we we um, took this his uh, his song and we started playing it and we decided we kind of started switching the verse and the chorus around and and uh, we came up with a bridge we came up with a new chord progression for the bridge and then at the very end I recorded it all and that's what I want to play for you next just so you can kind of see what we did uh, it was very special I, I really appreciate being able to be the leader of this class. Um, uh, uh, it, to me, this is probably the highlight of uh, uh, the, my Texas A&M experience because I haven't been able to be in class. I've been online, but this actually got me out in the community and I was able to touch people's lives. Thank you very much. Two, three, four.